Hey there, and welcome to day seven. Day seven. Wow. Okay, it's been a week. <laughs> uh, day seven in Inktober and Drawtober, and the prompt for this one was Rat Queen, and I thought I might take the opportunity on this one to do like kind of a cartoony little character design. So I did some sketches of that. You can kind of see in the background of my sketch paper, but I thought. What the heck, I'll do one little bit more detailed, realistic-ish style piece and this little sketch and I really like how that sketch came out so I was like, I really want to finish this. So I did and I also used my nice watercolor paper because I felt like it would really benefit from having some nice ink wash effects. I haven't been using on my other pieces because I haven't really been expecting them to be masterpieces or anything. It's not really the point of the challenge for me anyway to be making perfect art. It's just to make art every day in ink and to improve and learn and stuff. So, but this piece I felt like it was going to turn out nice or it had the potential to so I wanted to use my nice paper and I did and I got some really nice effects with it which Ah, uh, it's so nice because the ink is just kind of sloppy on the other paper. It doesn't do nice gradients and stuff. Where this one, it just flows super nicely because it's watercolor paper and it's magical. And you can see a little earlier, I was talking about something else, but I had drawn a cape on her and I wasn't sure how I felt about it at the time. I thought it might be a little bit more uh, too cartoony for the image and it turns out I had to get rid of it because I colored part of the background in thinking it was background but it was really part, part of the cape and then I just was like, well, getting rid of that. <laughs> and so the f most fun part is the inking the fur. Which, I've done the outer edges, and I think I'm about to get into all the little hatchy kind of fur lines, yep. It's just a really satisfying step when you're drawing animals with fur, is to draw all these little fur lines that can kind of describe the form and make everything pop into three dimensions. Is I don't know, it's cool. It's really more the style I used here. It's more of a style that I use when I'm life drawing animals. Um, so it's kind of unusual that I did a finished piece like this, but it's something I really enjoyed. Um, I didn't really use much reference for this. I've done a lot of life drawings of mice for another project, so. I felt like I had a basic understanding because rats are just big mice, right? <laughs>, Laughs nervously. Um, no, I mean they are different in some ways and I probably could have made the proportions a bit more rat-like. I, I looked at ref specific references of rats for the mouth, the ears, and the feet and paws and everything, so hopefully it doesn't look just like a mouse too much. but. There you go. I like how it came out anyway. <laughs> and oh, here is also another fun part I really wanted to do. In one of my pieces, I was looking for an opportunity to do an effect with using my hair dryer that I usually use to dry my pieces in order to do like an intentional splatter because I've done it sort of unintentionally before and I kind of liked how it turned out actually. So I wanted to make the crown a little bit of an abstract splatter shape. And that was super fun. And I lost a little bit of footage, but I guess I wasn't recording. Also, between this and the other, I had a major spill of ink off camera, which was so lovely. <laughs> Uh, no, it was actually so much better than it could have been because it only got on the cat's face a little bit and all over my hand and all over the sketch paper behind, but you know, what can you do? It 
uh, but I was going to make the cat's face kind of a dark area anyway, so it didn't matter in the end to the finished piece. It's kind of funny that I did, like, a fake splattery spill and then I had a real ink spill. That was, um, yeah, interesting. This is a little bit of a longer video than my other ones, I think, just because I spent more time on it, or... I, I mean, I sped it up to, I think, the usual speed, or just where I thought was a comfortable speed. I don't know, I've been experimenting with that a little bit, but... Uh, I feel find myself running out of things to say about this piece, but... That's okay. If anybody has any ideas that... or art-related topics that they'd like me to talk about in a video, um, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll see if I get to it. It just depends <laughs> on if it's something that interests me and something that I can work into a video. So I, here I'm just like darkening up. I always intended for the little background rats to be a little bit darker and I feel like I could have made more of a variation between them and the cat in the background, but I don't think it's too bad. I, I, at first I didn't want the cat to be that dark. I wanted it to be like receding a little bit and a little bit more murky, but I ended up making it darker and I like how it turned out in the end, but it might clash or the rats might blend into it a little bit, but I did end up going and outlining some parts in white gel pen, so just to kind of separate things out a little bit, I find it really useful for that, and then I did a little bit of outline on the crown to make it some parts of it look a little bit more crown-like. and added some highlights to the fur. Little tails and stuff. Oh, and then I added some kind of like hatching to the cat, which I ended up going over in ink later because I didn't really like how it turned out. I'm not sure what I was really going for there, but I mostly went over in ink, so you can't see it very much in the final. Here's the invisible ink, which is one of the parts I actually don't really like about the image. Uh, I did that little smile and now it looks like not that bad in hindsight, which what it ended up being, which I tried to fix it and made it worse. I did a little bit of the crown too and, uh, and there I'm like trying to get rid of it. <laughs> then I try to cover it up making like a wide grin and wow that looks so, like a horrible terrible Muppet kind of thing. So I'm trying to get rid of it again. And then I ended up going over it in black ink, and I ended up going it over later it, off camera to cover it e even more, so I think you can't even really see it anymore at this point. Hopefully, it's just... Yep. That's the end, and thanks for watching, guys. See ya tomorrow.